Hello and welcome to Getting Candid with me, your girl Helen. I hope you're subscribing to the channel, inviting your friends to subscribe and turn on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything that we upload on the channel. Today I'm super excited for my guest. I'm a big fan of Wills and J-Rocks and I'm chatting with them today. They recently released an album called Social Introverts and I just want to talk about the creative process. We find out where Wills has been. So much to chat about. Join me on the other side as I chat with the two. Welcome back. So I mentioned that I'll be chatting with the social introverts, j Rooks and Wills. Hi guys. Hey, hey. Good. I haven't had you on the show for... I've never had you on Getting Candid. I featured I, I, you on Unwrapped. Yes, like, yes. That was a long time ago, you know. Very long time ago. But we're here. Yes, yes. Um, Alive and kicking. Yeah, I'm glad that uh, to have you guys. First of all, congratulations on your album, Social Introverts. Thank, Thank you very much. It's a very good album. I love it. Uh, I was telling Wills earlier that I, I am biased. I'm a biased fan because I felt like I had the old Wills and I had the old j Rocks as well in that album. Everything yes. was there. So for me, who started listening to you guys from the beginning, I'm like, yeah. yes. Yes, yes, <laughs> this, yes. This is me. We needed to bring back, you know, bring back the different, you know, styles from mm -hmm. back in the day and also merge them with the new, the new place we're in. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's a very interesting project. Who came up with the idea? For the project? Yeah. Like we should so do it. So it's been there though. So it's been there since 2017 because we were supposed to put it out then. Then you fell out? Yeah. What but, happened? Um, Was it like you fell out as in the two of you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I saw it's in the email, it's not me. <laughs> It's in the email. Yeah, it's just said. like it's yeah. The email is like just you know to yeah. give like backstory. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we uh, I think Wills and I have been recording music for some time. You know. Yeah. There's some songs that we've recorded that never dropped. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know. Uh, I remember 2017. Yeah. 2017 mm -hmm. between 2017. Then you know, like days was it? No. Even after that. Even yeah. after that, like we we'll link up and play some FIFA, and then you know the studio used to be at his house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know we record some music. So we had like a lot of songs. So the plan to drop the album was there, but there was, you know, just a uh, funny out. little hiccup. It's not mm -hmm. like falling out, because falling out is like, ah, I can't yeah, really right, stand right, this person. Sure. But we're just yeah. not in a place where we, musically we could get anything done and then life got busy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that was the, you know, the separation that was there. Mm -hmm. But then when we, you know, decided to say, you know, I, let's try and get this thing done. It's like, things are just easy. It's just, you know, small little things. Like, people bring conversations and they say things mm -hmm. that, you know, make you see the other person in a certain way. Yeah. But then after we had the conversation, it's just like all of that stuff is just outside noise, you know what I mean? Background noise. Mm -hmm. And the focus was just on, you know, the actual friendship that was there before and the musical chemistry uh, that we focused on. Beautiful. Yeah. So you, uh, some of the songs that are on the album right now, uh, are they songs that you had recorded before, or you had to start like let's start from scratch? Let's, let's just do something. No. Either way, even if we had the songs from like back in the days, yeah. I don't think we would, uh, we would be vibing with the same vibe, because you know music change, and as an artist, we always want to give people like something new, something fresh. Mm -hmm. So whatever we did back in the days, I don't think it would like qualify we put out today. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we just decided, listen. So we didn't get any of the old songs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, nah. We didn't. Nah, we had to start from scratch. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, you're you always working, you're always giving us music, literally. Uh, you're one of those artists that I have not seen take a long break. Yeah. On the other hand, Wills, what happened? You like went quiet, it's like, okay, I just need to be in this space. What was happening in that? Um, just a lot. Just a lot. Um, also, at some point, I felt like there's nothing like really like for me here because of I'm I'm very adventurous and I I'm a person who doesn't like to settle for less. Mm -hmm. So like, what's left here? Everybody yeah. knows me. I've done what I could. So like, what's my next move? What do I do now? Mm -hmm. Like um, now, I need to to be known like globally. So what that was the plan. On top of that, I had my own issues in life. I lost my mother. I was in a bit of a scandal, I was swindled money and stuff like that. But it is what it is. Who swindled money? Some guy I was working with. Ah, sorry. Yeah. How much? It's okay. <laughs> it's alright. Jerks is letting me like, what's wrong? <laughs> yes. I'll just sorry. follow it. Yeah. It's alright, but it is what it is. But yeah. I'm, I'm here now. 
Yeah, I'm uh, mm -hmm. glad to have you back because I know you Thank released you the song uh, before the album. I did. Yeah, and you, you worked with Skills. And that's I think that's what a lot of people are talking about. Like, oh, Wills is back with Skills. Are you guys like back to working together constantly? It's not like we 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 never used to work together. Um, I was signed under Skills when I was studying and then the contract ended. So I continued with my own thing. Yeah. And then people misunderstood the whole thing. They labeled typical it. Typical Zambians. Yeah, yeah they yeah. labeled it as beef and stuff like that. Okay. But you know, Skills is my big brother. Yeah. Arguably, he groomed me. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I don't think it's necessary for me to be following whatever these people are saying. Mm -hmm. I know the understanding me and Skills have. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, uh, Jerox, I feel like you're, you're always giving us uh, like music. Do you ever have a moment where you have like, uh, maybe a creator's block, like you're just like stuck and say, Hey, you have nothing because you're always creating. It's beast mode until we die. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. The creative juices never run out. Uh, yeah. But then for me, I think the reason why I've been consistent is I'm creating a catalog for my kids. Um, I have, uh, I'm always thinking about the, for that time when I'm not around and Zambian music is very established. Mm -hmm. And everything that we're creating today becomes the diamond that's holding, you know, uh, the foundation of the industry itself. So uh, I know one of my kids who decide to do music, or their kid, or their children would decide, or their children's children would decide to do music. And for me, the, the plan is to create a catalog and create like a catalog of music that they can survive off. But also, I understand that I'm, I'm uh, here on borrowed time. So I wouldn't like to die and not be able to express myself and get most of the ideas that I have in my mind. I, I don't want to go to the grave with them. Yeah. So I look at every day as the last day. So if I feel creative and I feel like I want to do film stuff, I want to do music, I want to do this thing, I just venture into that space and I get lost in it and I express myself in that very moment because we don't know what will happen tomorrow yeah. you know and some of these pieces that we create today i like to call them slow burns like it's a it's not instant noise you know creating timeless music is not instant noise because instant noise will hit you and it'll be quiet again yeah. so slow burns uh timeless stuff you drop it you let it grow on people mm -hmm. and uh, Many years from now, 20 years, 50 years from now, that will be the classic music that we listen to and say, this was done in a session. Like songs like Autopilot, you know. Yeah. Um, to name a few, there's quite a number of songs that I've done that I know for sure that when Autopilot came out, it took like over three, four months for it to start playing heavily on radio. Really? Yeah, so it takes time to yeah. create timeless music. And it's also, uh, I'm not, you know, in the bucket with everyone else so I, my life is my life i do it i express myself when i feel like and for as long as i'm healthy i have a voice and i can do what i can do i think it's only right for me to express myself so that's the reason why consistency has been there okay nice yeah. so this is not the best collaborative album you've done last year uh, you did something with jay cash yes i did a, an ep with jay cash yeah uh, before I drop my album August 10th. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, collaborations is the way to go. Collaboration is the future, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. we've seen artists today that are in the industry that have survived, they are surviving off collabs. Yeah, that's true. You know, uh, they're not brave enough to do their own solo songs because they need, they're depending on the next person. But for me, it's not really depending on the next person, but it's because when you do this for a long time by yourself, you, it's like painting a picture, you know, you can paint the picture, you know you can paint it, but when you bring someone else into, into that space and they add their own color, it enhances the space. Yeah. Uh, so being able to collaborate with other artists, not only does it bring the creative space, like give you more insight on the creative space, but it's also getting my fan base and getting Wills' fan base, or getting my fan base and getting Jay Cash's fan base and putting them into one room, mm -hmm and saying, listen, we can actually be able to create a painting that you guys can relate with. Yeah. So it's, it's part of growth. 
you know, and it also just, you know, gets gets rid of the redundancy of doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, love it. How was the process of creating the album? How was, uh, was it exciting? Did you have days when you were like, oh, I'm tired, I, I, I don't know how this is <laughs> going to be? Like, Not really, it's never like that. Yeah. Um, this is what we do. Uh, it's never come out like it's, uh, we are working hard to us because we're used to it. We enjoy doing it. So it's nothing complicated. So you just play the beat, so this beat sounds nice. Yeah. Okay, this is, this is not the vibe we're vibing with. Let's play another beat. Okay, we settle for this one. We write right there and then. And then it's a song. Easiest recording sessions we've ever had. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like super easy. Just felt like fun, you know? Yeah. True. Very, uh, songs were getting knocked out within an hour, an hour 30, two hours. True. Uh, recording just felt like we're just linking up and just talking. So it's yeah. been like, hey, what's up? Discussing this thing. I'm like, oh, there's also this instrumental, and then you get it done, and the song is done. So it just felt very easy to do. There's also uh, something that um, I feel like uh, give, if you, I don't know if you guys felt the pressure when two people that are respected in the industry and we're always expectant, mm -hmm. like ah. If J Rox is releasing a song, everybody's like, yo, it's J Rox, it's Wheels, Wheels is coming back. Did you have the pressure of, are people going to love this? Because it's two giants coming together. Obviously, we're very expectant. For me, I'm like, let me listen to this album. I hope I, I don't get I think we cared less about people, yeah. how the people consume really? the music and focus more on how can we make sure that we don't do the same music that we were doing before. Mm -hmm. So it's like, how can we make this new, you know? How can we, if we're going to rap, how can we put ourselves in a different space mm -hmm. as compared to, I mean, it, it would be messed up if you come back and you do a song exactly like Ninala Aqua or but Signature. Thing, yeah, I tell you, funny thing, um, Zambians will listen, it's, it's very, it's a thin line and it's very confusing. Yeah. You uh, hear them say, well, you've switched, so, we miss the old you. And then you see them trolling someone who's doing the same style for the longest time. Yes. So, yeah, like, yeah. so what do I do? Because <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Like, oh, you need to change because you sound the same on every song. Yeah. Exactly. So it's, it's a crazy it's, thing. The no, fans just, true. it's very confusing, want. honestly. But, but I think when we love a song, we just love it. Um, I know, I, I think I had asked you, like, uh, we're just having like a conversation away from mm -hmm. the cameras and I was like, no, oh, Bruce, what, what, I, I miss old Bruce and you're like, but you dance to Kariba Dam. I'm like, oh, I love that song. Yeah, so know. it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. it's like, uh, it's just when it's nice, it's nice. Yeah. Whether yeah. it sounds. Also, um, you know, there are different fans. There are people who listen to music because they just like music. Yeah. And there are people who listen to music when the song becomes big. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, they just want to move with the trend. Everyone else is listening to that song. Yeah. I'm going to listen to it. Yeah. But there are just people who listen. At times, I don't even want to listen to the most popular song. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to listen. I'll, I'll find a song from the album. I listen to the album. Okay, this is my favorite. This and that. I'll be playing those songs. I don't care if they, they will ever get big or not. Yeah. It's because yeah, I'm listening to, to music yeah. for myself. Yeah. But people and, are different. And that's true. Sometimes yeah. I, I, I get pissed. I'm like, people don't know this song, but mm. it's so nice. People are not. That's but true. I think it's preference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you have a favorite uh, on the album? No, no, do you have? No, no. Which song do you think will be like the biggest song on the album? I, I, I mean, the fans are very uh, unpredictable. <laughs> yeah. Um, we had like a song on the project that we were like, ah, this yeah, one, we yeah, kept yeah. on pushing it forward, like on the track list, we were like, ah, this one, ah, let's put these songs, and then it ended up finding itself at the end. There's two songs, there's Leah and Mandanda. They went yeah. and they are just at the bottom there. Yeah. And then now that the project is out, there's like a lot of people that are saying, oh, Leah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. you know? And then we're like, oh, snap, we thought maybe this one was going to, but then yeah, no. we don't know. I like, listened to the, the album the twice. The decide. Oh, yeah. like, listen to it. And then the, the one song, I don't have a favorite yet. I think I have a lot of favorites, but the one song that keeps playing, even right now I'm talking to you, it's playing in my head, mm -hmm. is Chivele. For real. <laughs> you yeah, see? Yeah, like it's really just, it uh, keeps yeah? playing. Ah. I don't have a favorite yet, but mm. that song is like, it's yeah, stuck in my head. Because there's Chirashi every day, no? There's yeah, Chirashi yeah, yeah. every day. <laughs> like, it's life. really stuck mm. in my head. It keeps yeah. playing. So I don't know if it's a favorite. Are we seeing music videos? Definitely. Yeah. Soon? I mean, we want to make sure the music sits down now. We see what mm. the people like, and then mm. we shoot according to how the people are, you know, responding yeah. to the music itself. Because sometimes you spend money and you shoot for the song that you feel will work. Mm -hmm. But then it's not the one that the people 
So now it's like if you're pushing that music video now when the project is out and people like track number five but it's short for track number one, mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, but then the fans in the comment sections be like, no, we want a yeah, video yeah, for yeah, this sure. one. So we just want the music to sit down and then start rolling out the videos. Okay. Yeah. Jerox, uh, how, how do you find it easy to, how do you balance? Like you, you have access on the record label. Yeah. Then you also have your own uh, music to push, but we still see your artists uh, releasing music. And most of the time people have said an artist can't sign other artists because they have to push their own. How do you make sure that? Uh, oh, well, I, I think this is the thing. This is the thing where, that a lot of people need to understand. This is not an artist can push, push another artist. Most of the people that I've had under me um, come through to be natured into becoming proper creatives. It's not a record label like the record labels that we've seen. It's a, it's a place where you give people, hand them the tools to be able to do certain things. So even releasing music is not dependent on, oh, so this is what we're going to do. It's dependent on you as the artist when you feel like you need to, you need to express yourself. So we're not sitting there and grilling people to say you need to produce and get the music done. I've seen a lot of fans uh, talk about, oh no, but J-Rock's always pushing, you're always pushing yourself and you know, pushing these other guys. And I'm thinking, how, do you know how much I've put my career on hold yeah. to share resources with a lot of artists? Some of, some of the artists that are big, I'm not going to make mention of some names, but there's so many artists that have been through my hands that are big today but also, you know, in the process, I've had to put my brand on the side to be able to help other people move. And people are still talking, but also because they don't know what's happening behind the scenes. Yeah. So it's not a, an issue of, oh, because Jay has dropped, I also need to drop. There's only one Jay Rocks, there's only one other artist and this other artist. Yeah. And when you feel like you're ready to release the music and it's the right music and you present it to say, this is what I want to do, we're ready to roll you out and do what we have to do. So just because other artists are not dropping under, and also we do, we've laid off a lot of artists. It's just a very, very small number now. Um, because of the, the actual you know, nature of uh, Zambians and young artists, when you pick them up, they don't have anything to their name. Um, you spend one year of investing in them, you know, studio, and all of this stuff and teaching them how to carry themselves and then you start to spend money but they want to become Rema today you know so they start looking at Rema and looking at themselves they're forgetting that now people know them but it's a process so now when they start to get gigs and they feel like things are happening they feel like, oh, this other guy can manage me and take me somewhere. But you were no one just one year ago. Your music style was very different from what we've been able to, to make you become. So because of that, I've also, you know, I'm getting older and I've got kids that are almost, uh, my oldest uh, son is the same age with some of these young guys. So instead of me spending a lot of time with people that don't know what they're doing, I'd rather spend time with my kids and be there for him and make sure he becomes the lawyer that he wants to do in law. Oh, I'd rather spend time with him than oh. go and spend time with a young kid that just wants fame and do not understand how the music industry works. So we're running out of time, you know? We're only going to be this age once. So now the priorities have just shifted, you know? Mm -hmm. Right now my life is more focused on my wife, my kids, and the few friends that I have. So when a creative comes, I'll advise them. As a consultant, I will tell you what I think you need to do, but go and make the magic work. <laughs> but having you, you know, a friend of mine told me to say, we, we get so uh, comfortable with allowing people to be in your space that they, once they enter your space, they forget that you are the legend that they used to watch. Yeah. You, have, you are that person that they grew up yeah. listening to. But because they get familiar, they forget. So they, they even forget to learn, you know, yeah. to learn, pick up some lessons from spending time with you. So now the door is closed. And it's sad because there's so many young upcoming artists. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Hey, I, I, so I, 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 my, my kids are doing keyboard lessons, so I would rather sit there and say, <laughs> my guy, just play it like this. I've done my part, yeah. you know.
Nice. Uh, I, I like that and I do understand. Uh, before I come back to you, so Wills, are we seeing you um, like from here? This album is done. Obviously, mm -hmm. obviously you need time, you guys, to promote it. Mm -hmm. We don't know what you guys have planned. Are you having a launch? Uh, are we seeing Wills continue? I, I hope you're not going on another break after this. Are we <laughs> going to be seeing you release music at least? Back yeah, to most that? definitely. But you know also, it's boring at times, huh? Because me as an artist, my job is to create. Yeah. I'm creating what's not there. But people want to categorize you. They want to put you in this small corner where they just want you to do what they are used to. Yeah. All right? This is a business of the top five. Oh, top what? The best rapper mm. in the country is this. You know, the you, you, you can't, you can't, you can't sing like that. You should sound yeah. like this. But then there's the other guy saying, just because you sound like that, you never go that far. So like, why don't you let me do the music? Then you listen. If you don't like the song, it's all right. Yeah. Wait for another release. Yeah. You can't have an opinion over every song that's out. Yeah. Funny thing, I put out a song today. This guy says it's making sense. The other guy says, what is this? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like even, even the fans are toxic. There's a, yeah, there's like a lot Zambian of, there's, fans there's, are there's really toxic. There's a lot of this thing of because I'm a J Rock's uh, supporter, mm. um, I'm going to bash whatever everyone else puts out. Even before, I've seen like the artists put up like their artwork for a project that's coming, and then people are already saying this is a flop because there's not this other artist. Yeah, 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 you know, stuff like, like But you that. haven't heard the song, so yeah. why are you talking? And, and, and the saddest reality is, I think, just our the young generation, they need to find something to do. Let's get some jobs. Let's spend some time reading books. Because there's a lot of free time. That's the problem. People have got a lot of free time, and people are so bitter, and I think they're suffering, you know? Yeah, and so they're, they're releasing that now. The because first outlet they're the using is just way too much. Yeah, so... Like, who hurt you? So it's, it's, it's like that, but, you know... Um, I've been talking to Wills about uh, this music thing. I think he's going to, you know. He is. I think I think I can feel I can feel that he's going to be consistent. So it needs to be consistent. We pray so. Keep telling him to be consistent. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I tell you what, my yeah. album is already done. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's been done. Yeah. All right, but I'm just trying to see like, it's funny how people come out um, to make it seem like they are helping you. By listening to your music yeah listen i listen to jail rocks for myself because i love music i I'm, I'm the one enjoying that yeah he's done his part he put the music out i'm not helping jail rocks in any way by listening to his music mm. to start with that's that's food as to as my as soul as the music is so why should i go to yeah. jail rocks and say jail rocks hey give me a 50 quarter because i listen to your music <laughs> Oh, oh no, that's very common. Cool. Yeah, to DM. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. DM mentality. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, it is what it is. Yeah. And you know, when you say that, uh, just because this artist is not there, I think I saw some comments when the artwork was out, when you, yeah. your artwork was out, and somebody was like, ah, there was, there's no Coppola feature here. I don't think this album is going anywhere. Let me tell you something, <laughs> and I'm going to say this once and never say it again. This. This separation of the Copa Belt and Lusaka is a separation that's got nothing to do with some of us. Let the people that were involved in that space be the ones that people take it towards. Until there's a worthy opponent that comes and they say things and they go and fire shots at Wills and Wills feels like there's this thing. But people need to stop categorizing every artist and saying, this Zambia is too small. The industry doesn't have a structure of a proper foundation for us to even have any sort of beef. Mm. You understand? We need to standardize a lot of things right now, like how much we need to start getting paid for endorsements, how much we need to start getting paid for shows. Once all of that is nicely set up and we've got proper record labels and a proper structure, this is the only place where a person will record a song in a small little room and that song ends up becoming the biggest song on radio. That doesn't happen in countries that have established industries. No, you doesn't. need to follow the structure. There's people, there's levels to do things. And that just shows you that it's too small for Kopala thing, Kopala this, Kopala this, Kopala yeah. this. Competition is good. 
but don't bring it in yeah, like your space where it's right. like, hey, without this, then it's this. I got so many songs that I've done that are very successful without certain features. You know, and for me, I work with artists not because you make a noise right now, but because music needs to be created in a certain way. So if you say this is not going to be successful because it doesn't have this, what are you trying to say about my catalog of music? Because I can count and I can go. There's yeah. so many bangers I have to my name without certain features. Yeah. Did Lusaka and have a lot of features? Was it Lusaka? Uh, uh, Lusaka didn't have any features. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah so, so this whole thing, like all that noise for me is just like background noise, you know? Yeah. And it doesn't really affect me, but people just need to be, there's so much arrogance and ignorance in our space. And ignorance is the key thing. It's the bigger part of most of our... That's why I need to say we need to start doing campaigns like take people to school, let them read books, so that let them be exposed, to travel, go out there. If you can't travel, go out there and uh, consume content that will enlighten you. Mm -hmm. Because people are too quick to saying because of this. That's, this is the reason why the industry, why we're not going international is because, because I'm a J-Rox fan. I feel like J whatever J Rox does is the truth and it is what it is. Yeah, so when exactly. J Rox does a stupid uh, song that will not can't stand the chance with Burner Boy, we are still going to push that song and make it be this is the standard of Zambian music. Yeah. What we are forgetting is there's an uh, there's people in Kenya, people in Europe that are typing Zambian music, and mm -hmm. that same low quality song, useless song is there what they are finding and saying oh zambian music is this yeah. so t talking about grammys and everything i have a long way to go because the artist starts from the artists the fans and the structure itself even radio stations and platforms that are supposed to don't you musicians have a structure uh, there's no Arguably, such there's thing no, there's no industry in this country i'll tell you that what structure? Which one? The Zambia Association of Musicians, which is... No, 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 no. Country. Listen, uh, Zambia Association of Musicians has got... Uh, they're doing some things to try and, you know, set, set up certain things. Mm -hmm. um, there's some things I've seen, like the, the whole insurance policy that they've, they've brought through and the fights. There's internal fights that I've heard of that are happening, which are, you know, good. But the thing is that there's only so much they can do without the involvement of the artist. Yeah. The artist needs to want these things for themselves. The artist needs to want all these like insurance policies. The artist needs to want to get paid the right way. Even, the artist even the needs, government, you know, yeah, even the government yeah. is not involved in any way. I'll tell you this. If, if today you can know how to defend yourself, but you can't defend in the court of law, you understand? Because there's a structure. There's a certain route you need to go. You have to be tried and tested, mm -hmm. right? But the music is not like that. Here where you are, you can go to the studio, at your friend's studio, put it in the kitchen, record the song, put it out tomorrow, it becomes big, and you can win a, 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 an award for that. You understand? So where's the structure? There's no structure. I mean, it's awards, just open. The whole awards conversation is a whole different conversation. <laughs> I, I, we don't want to get you in there. What? Um, <laughs> yeah. I think we needed a longer uh, conversation with you guys. Did. Awards, uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Uh, bring back the ZMAs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you missed the, the ZMAs. No, no, not missing. I just yeah. feel like uh, there was... Uh, uh, you were more organized. I don't want to say this, but, you know, bring back the ZMAs. <laughs> or, you know, Bonner Breads were also good, yeah. you know. Um, what the Quacha is doing is very nice, but I wish they can make it more about the artists and take care of the artists the way they're supposed to. I'm saying this because I've been exposed enough. I've, I was once nominated for MTV Mama Award. So I know what it feels like to go to an award show and being treated the right way. And I also know the channel of communication where you get the information about your nomination and everything. These are things that the committee, the organizers need to bring artists into the room and say, how can we better this thing? You understand? Yeah. And not just looking at these XX artists, because these artists are cool with this, this, this. Yeah. Bring everyone, and even the smallest artists, that one artist that you feel like, oh, their quality of sound is group C. Let them have a say, because it's a music show for the music in the country. So let people say it, so okay, we also feel like this should happen. 
this whole thing of five artists going to sit and saying this is what Zambian music as Zambian uh, musicians we feel like it needs to stop the five of you cannot represent me, Wills, and everyone. It's not like we called we're on a conversation, yeah. saying, oh, this is what we feel, okay, agree, go and represent us. People need to stop doing that. Our industry needs to be looked at in a very critical way and handled. You know, it's very fragile. Mm -hmm. And if we continue like this, we're going to lose key players. You don't know how big an artist is going to be tomorrow. So you can say, X, this artist, cool. What happens if X, this artist tomorrow becomes as big as Burner Boy? And the music, the award show needs this burner boy to come and be there because now he's the definition of Zambian music. Yeah, sure. You understand? Yeah. So, handle every player the right way, very gentle, listen to them, see why are they pulling out of the award show? They're pulling out because of this. Why are they feeling like this? Is there anyone else that feels like this? Oh, so this is what we can do. That's just my take. So I feel like um, they don't really have like uh, enough information about music. You can tell that the ignorance is real. They don't know the difference between hip hop and R and B. They don't know the difference between dancehall and Afro. I'm seeing a rapper, a hip hop rapper, in the category of R and B and dancehall, and even gets the award. It's like, Chief, how are you scooping this award? <laughs> For the dancer artists, like what? What is this? Yeah, there's a lot that Come we can on, talk man. about. So I have to let you go, guys. Now, yeah, yeah. social introverts. Who came up with the name? Yeah, we yeah we suggested names I and think we you just put it together. I think it kind of described you guys. Yeah, yeah, man. Introverts yeah. and social when needed. <laughs> yeah, we are yeah. required to be social uh, because of the work that we do. Yeah. But in real life, we are introverts. Yeah. When I just saw the title, like it's actually describing the both of you. Yeah. It made sense. Mm -hmm. Love it. What are any last words for your fans? Stream the music! If you want to listen to the old J-Rocks, go and listen to the old music. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Jay-Z said, not J-Rocks. But um, the project is out, uh, Social Introverts is out. You can uh, listen to it on Boomplay. It's going to be on Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, and all the other platforms. Mm -hmm. Follow me on social media, it's official J-Rocks. Uh, on all the platforms except Twitter. They're actually, official J Rocks everywhere. You know, so yeah, and thanks a lot for supporting um, J Rocks from uh, the time I started music. Some of you guys might pretend like you don't know me, but I know you know me. <laughs> you know, check yourself. You know what I mean? So yeah. thanks a lot to all those that are real enough to show that, you know, they support the work and they don't, you know, feel some type of way. Great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, big shout outs to everybody who's supporting good music, including you. You yeah. add a lot to the industry. Big shout outs to you. Thank you. Um, I remember to follow me on all my socials. Uh, the name is Wills, Mr. Nyopole. If we said anything that did not sit well with you, please forgive us. <laughs> you don't have to be bitter. <laughs> Just allow import to be bitter, nothing else. You, you're a good person. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right, hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been a great conversation. I think we need more time. I'll probably invite these guys back here again. Bye-bye.